the last 12 years, I've been home and I have done everything in my power to answer the phone. This is raw, this is in the moment, it's not going to be super high production value, it's like, I got the video camera sitting on the tripod, it's me in the bedroom, and we're having a conversation, like, you and me are sitting on the end of my bed, and we're having this talk about, how's this journey to make five grand going? So you're like, right in the heart, and in the belly of the beast. Yesterday, my husband and I were talking, and we've had several conversations over the last few months about possibly relocating, and he's been very adamant, it's not going to happen. And finally, we broke. I broke through with him and, and got clear that what was really going on for him was this need to have a sense of financial stability and security. You know, we're not extravagant livers. We have a really small house that we're renting in a, a quiet little community in a small town. Um, and we did that consciously because we didn't want to have debt. We didn't want to have a mortgage payment. We didn't want to have all of those extra burdens, expenses, and encumbrances that come along with all of that. We've been together 12 years, married for 10. We have a nine-year-old son. And my teenager, my oldest, turned 18 in December, so he's got wings, he's free and clear, and it's just the three of us. Yesterday I said, you know, you realize that you're really good at the domestic stuff, taking care of the house, doing the dishes, the laundry, cooking, the cleaning, the taking care of the kids, all that. You're really good at that. And I'm really good at being out in public, meeting with people, doing presentations, selling, marketing, pressing the flash, all the stuff that requires me to be outside this house. And I have been in this house for 12 years and I'm ready, I'm beyond ready to step forward in, in a big way for me and do what I believe God's called me into in the world. You like to be home and alone and quiet and isolated and I'm going nuts in this little town. And he's like, well, you know, if you want to flip-flop, then that would work. And I almost lost my mind, and I'm like, okay. 30 days to income means laser focus. It means making a job out of making money, but the goal isn't to have a job, so it's got to be a transition plan as well. And if it was just me, I could go down there on less than $5,000, it wouldn't be a big deal. I'd sleep in a car, you know, I wouldn't care because it's all about the hustle and getting down there and getting it done. But it's not just me. I have a lovely nine-year-old son, I have a husband, and we need to do this in a reasonable way and not cut the legs out from any one of us. So I can't sit here and go, I am fabulously wealthy and incredibly good looking and I have all the money I could ever need because my brain goes, girl, no you know. Yeah, that's never gonna happen. When is that gonna happen? Not that I don't want them to happen, but the cognitive dissonance is fighting Inside me. The idea here is this is a sprint. This is a hard sprint for 30 days. And I don't expect that most of what I'm doing is going to be stuff that I'm going to A, want to do regularly, or B, need to do regularly. This is just a hard push. If I had 30 days to make five grand that I need, how close can I get? What can I do? What's really within the realm of possibility? Is $5,000 even possible? Don't know. We're going to find out.